Hello, I'm Rolf Hurt. This is a quick uh, video about taxation on importing antiques into, into Malta. If you are uh, in Malta and you want to import antiques from the EU, the, there is no duty at all. The item will be sent to you in Malta and the item will arrive at your doorstep. The only difficulty is in some places that there will be problems <clears throat> getting it to, out of the country it's in. You might need paperwork, which will delay it and cause expense. When it comes to England, there is um, no problem at all in getting stuff out of England unless it's really, really special stuff, in which case the government will stop you, try to stop you exporting it. Um, but the problem with the stuff from England now in Malta is because England is not part of EU, there is an import tax. And the customs in Malta are examining 100% of the parcels from England. And if it is antique or pseudo antique, they, they will wish to ins inspect the item in the flesh. It's done on the declaration, because if you're bringing something to Malta from England, you have to declare the value and you have to have supporting evidence. And that is usually in the form of a invoice and a classification of the item. So the customs have a head start, they have the value, they know what product it is on the declaration, and they will uh, ask the, the government in Malta to inspect 100% of antiques coming from England to Malta at the moment. And the, uh, the government department, the, 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 the Superintendent, Superintendent of Cultural Heritage will come to the port facilities, the airport facilities, the post facilities, and they will, in the presence of the owner of the parcel, or the agent acting on behalf of the owner of the parcel, in the presence of the customs, in the presence of the courier firm, the item will be unpacked. And what they want to see is that the item coming to Malta is the same as the item on the declaration. And a declaration will include photographs and value and source and a description. And the government will photograph the item, it will be given a number, and the government of Malta will charge 5% valuation fee. The only redeeming feature is the antiques uh, bear a import that rate of 5% instead of 20%. So it is actually adv advantageous for dealers bringing antiques into Malta for the items to be held at customs, inspected, incurring this inspection charge, but it incurs a very low rate of VAT. So I'm a dealer in England, I bring all, all, an awful lot of stuff to Malta, um, repatriate Maltese paintings for example, and this is, this is a, uh, the, the, the bureaucracy if you like, or the control, it, the control that the the Maltese have it on this stuff, they want to know what's coming in. And if stuff leaves Malta to go to England, in reverse, they inspect it and photograph it, but they don't charge when the stuff goes out. But of course, when it hits England, the English will charge when it goes into England at the same 5%. So moving antiques in and out of Malta is simple if you're EU. It's not so simple if you're not EU. But it's part of business now, and it has and the repatriation of of antique goods is not a new thing. My my father was a dealer in the sixties and seventies, and is still doing now. Uh, but my father um, would send American antiques to America, and he was looking for federal antiques, and he was looking for chestnut, uh, Georgian antiques to go back to America. Uh, and he was looking for, for carved eagles and scrimshaw and whaling pictures and flags and maps and, and so, that, so, things like that. And in America, there, there was and is a huge desire to reconstruct the federal era, the, the Regency era. And uh, if you're American and you have a George Washington era chair or hat or painting, then, then you, 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 you're really connecting with history. So it's not only the Maltese who want their own stuff back, the Americans particularly want their own stuff. Um, 
And this repatriation is, is not a new thing, as I say. And it's going to continue and it's probably going to intensify. Um, so that, that's just information. I just thought you might like to know. Thank you.